What's up everyone? This is the Apple reseller here. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a RAM upgrade on my 17 inch MacBook Pro. As you can see here, it's very big. So here are the specs of this MacBook Pro. This is a 17 inch late 2011 MacBook Pro. It has a 2.4 gigahertz i7 processor. This is quad core Sandy Bridge. It has eight gigabytes of RAM and an Intel HD 3000 GPU with 512 megabytes of VRAM. But this also has a discrete GPU, which is the AMD Radeon 6770M GPU with one gigabyte of VRAM. And this MacBook currently has a 500 gigabyte hard drive. This MacBook is actually not my main MacBook Pro. This is just a computer that I collect. As you can see, it doesn't have that much stuff on it. It just has mostly like the basic application with Microsoft Office. Now, one thing I'm doing differently from this upgrade from everybody else, usually people just buy the RAM and SSD and then that's how they upgrade the computer. I actually bought a different computer, which is this MacBook Pro 15 inch. This is a 15 inch mid 2012 not written the MacBook Pro that I just purchased. And this thing has an SSD and 16 gigs of RAM. As you can see here, this is a 15 inch mid 2012 MacBook Pro. This is not a Retina model. This has the 2.3 gigahertz i7. This is the quad core IV bridge, 16 gigabytes of RAM and Intel HD 4000 GPU, but it also has the Nvidia um, 650M GPU with 512 megabytes of RAM. That's the discrete GPU. And this MacBook does have a SSD. As you can see here, this MacBook does have a 240 gigabyte SSD. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, the RAM and SSD from this MacBook Pro and I'm going to put it into my 2011 MacBook Pro and then I'm going to take the SSD and RAM from this MacBook Pro and then put in here so I'm pretty much just swapping the RAM and SSD and then after I swap it I'm probably just going to resell this computer because I don't really need this computer my main computer is a 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro so that thing is a lot better than this so as you can see here I have removed the SSD and the RAM from the 2012 MacBook Pro this SSD is an OWC, Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. It's a 240 gigabyte, as you can see. And this is a crucial memory, two sticks of eight gigabyte, which makes 16 gigabyte. And now I'm going to open up this MacBook Pro. So basically what you do is you take out 10 screws. There's four on the bottom, four on the top side, one on the left and one on the right. And there's going to be three longer screws on the top. So I have opened the computer. As you can see, this is the inside of the MacBook Pro. I'm not sure if anyone has ever opened this MacBook Pro. It's the first time I opened it, but I'm not sure if, if I'm the first one. So I'm going to remove the hard drive first. To do that, you just need to loosen these two screws. You don't need to take them out completely. After they will loosen, you can just take out this bracket. As you can see here, you don't need to take out the screws and the bracket just comes out. Next, you just take out the hard drive now usually the pull tab should be on this side so you can like pull out the hard drive but I'm not sure why it's like on this side. Maybe someone has opened up this computer but I don't know. But you just take out the hard drive and you just take off the connector and then you have removed the hard drive. Now I will say that if you do buy a new SSD you will need to transfer these screws onto your SSD so you can put it into your into your computer and it won't like move around but because I removed my SSD from another MacBook Pro it already comes with like the screws on it so 
I don't need to do that. But if you bought a new SSC, then you will need to do that. So to put in your SSC, you just line up the connectors and then you put in like this and then you just put in the SSD into the slot. Another thing I will say is that you should probably transfer this tab so it's easier for you to remove your SSD if you ever have to. So I should have done that first, but you just take the tab and put it on the side of your SSD. So if you ever need to remove it, you can just pull it. Next thing you do, you just put the bracket back and just tighten the two screws. Next for the RAM, you just pull on, pull these two tabs outward and then the upper RAM slot, RAM slot comes out. And then for the second one, you just pull the tab again and then it should come out like this. And then you just take your new RAM sticks and then just put in. Now the bottom stick is a little harder to put in, but you just got to wiggle it in there. And just make sure that it's in and then just click it down. And then you do the top slot. The top is a should be easier. Um, you just make sure that it's clicked in there and then you just pop it in. So now I'm done with the upgrade. The next thing you do, you just take your cover, put it back on. What you should do before you put on all the screws is just to put on one screw, turn over the computer and then boot it just to make sure that everything works. So I have just put in one screws on the bottom and now I'm going to turn on the computer to see if it's working. So as you can see here, the computer boots fine and let's just make sure we have 16 gigs of RAM. As you can see here, we now have 16 gigs of RAM on this MacBook Pro and we also have a 240 gigabyte SSD. So I have the 15 inch MacBook Pro back together I have booted up to make sure that it works and it does work. Now we're going to do a boot up test and see how long it takes for the hard drive to boot up. I know I should have done it in the 17 inch to be even, but I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So let's do it now. So that took like 47 and a half seconds to boot up for the hard drive. I will show you guys the spec of this computer. As you can see here, this MacBook Pro now has 8 gigs of RAM and it has the 500 gigabyte hard drive that was in the 17 inch MacBook Pro. So I have restored the SSD, pretty much erased it. And then I end up reinstalling Hi Sierra because that's the easiest software to reinstall. But I don't think that will make much of a difference. I also transfer all the files from the hard drive to the SSD. So now let's do a startup test and see how long it takes. As you can see there, the SSD is a lot faster. It takes almost 19, about 19 seconds compared to like 47 and a half seconds on the hard drives. So I would say that the SSD is actually a lot faster. So to wrap up this video, I'm very happy with this upgrade. It went really well. Even though the SSD is smaller than the hard drive, I don't really care because this is not my main computer. It's just a computer that I collect and I'm just happy that I have an SSD in this computer now. I know I can sell this MacBook Pro with the hard drive and 8GB of RAM and still get all my money back or I might even be able to profit a little bit. I'm not sure, but I can definitely get all my money back. The last thing that I want to say is that if any of you want to upgrade your MacBook, whether it's the SSD or RAM, and you don't want to spend money upgrading or you don't have the money, 
this is a great way to upgrade your MacBook for cheap or free. Basically, you, you just go buy a MacBook that has the parts you need and then get it for a good price, swap the part with your, with your own MacBook and then resell that MacBook and hopefully you can break even or at least only lose like a little bit of money. So I will totally recommend that you guys try to do this. So that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do enjoy my content, then go ahead and subscribe to me. I will really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.